the World Food Day National Committee of Trinidad and Tobago of the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries will commemorate World Food Day 2022 on Saturday, October 15th at the Western Compound of the Ministry's head office in Chagonas. Here to tell us more about the event is Chair of the World Food Day Committee, Mrs. Diane Ramroop. Ms. Ramroop, good morning. Thank Hi. you so much for joining us. Yes, good morning to you also. How are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> and I'm pleased to be here today to share about the World Food Day Committee, the activities, yeah. and the World Food Day, which will be hosted on the Saturday, the 15th, as mentioned, October, at the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Head Office in Endeavour, Shigonas. Now, we're talking about the World Food Day National Committee. What is that yes. committee about? Okay, so this National Committee, the World Food Day National Committee of Trinidad and Tobago, comprised of both uh, public and private sector who have responsibility for agriculture, marketing, trade, um, post-harvest, all along the value chain. Mm -hmm. So it consists of members from the various ministries and um, private sector. So you have the Ministry of Trade, Education, Social Development, Youth, etc. Do you have any partnerships with the farmers, so for example, through NAMDEFCO? Yes, we do partner. Um, NAMDEFCO is also part of the committee and we do partner with farmers, with youths, with children, 4-H, etc. Mm -hmm. So we conduct a, a number of activities. We engage in schools and over the years and uh, this year we'll also be hosting a number of activities in celebration of World Food Day. Well, let's get into that. So World Food Day is tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Tell us a bit about World Food Day and this particular activity that you're having tomorrow. Okay, so World Food Day has been designated October 16th and it's a yearly activity and it's to promote global awareness to promote, uh, you know, in terms of promoting healthy diets and everything in, in relation to food. Yeah. So the activities actually that's going to be held tomorrow on Saturday will be promoting an exhibition where you can come in and there's a lot of promotional material, um, seedlings, the yeah, seed, uh, starting a, a crop, you're starting with a healthy plant. So you want good seedlings, good quality seeds, good, good quality seedlings. And we have a number of free giveaways in terms of, you know, if you do visit. I like We're, that word giveaways. Yes. <laughs> uh, We'd also be promoting alternatives to livestock feed. So it's both for crop and livestock. Right. Uh, alternatives for livestock, we'll be doing composting, using natural pesticides. So the team for um, World Food Day for 2022 is no one is left mm -hmm. behind. So you have better um, nutrition, better environment, all leading to uh, better life right, nice. yes now in terms of the uh, event that's happening tomorrow it's for everyone is it free of charge it is free of charge it's hosted as mentioned at the head office of the ministry of agriculture land and fisheries and it's at, on on a saturday you also have the farmers market namdefco farmers market so it's promoting eat local in you know look at your diet in terms of uh, your choices in which you what you would have on your plate mm. so persons can visit the location um you can visit you can do your market at the at the namdefco's farmers market it starts at 7 30 it yeah. goes on until 12 noon so you can do your market and you can also visit us you it's, it's a lot of education public education public awareness and you know participate so it's a, a two-pronged approach if you do visit nice so i love that you can go and make your market and then come across and see exactly how you can grow your own food. Yes. What was the whole purpose behind doing this? For example, was it because we're now coming out of the pandemic? Is it because we have this big thrust, of course, for agriculture and growing local? Okay, so World Food Day is, like I, I mentioned, it's it's a annual event. So it's celebrated on October 16. So each year, the World Food Day, it's, it's celebrated globally. So for Trinidad and Tobago, the World Food Day Committee of Trinidad and Tobago would host a number of activities. Mm. So activities both in Trinidad and Tobago. So our Tobago Tobago counterparts, Tobago, we also have representative from the Tobago House of Assembly on this committee and Tobago would also be hosting the activities October 19th to the 20th uh, in Tobago and it will take the form of doing um, exhibits in both crop and livestock. Yeah. And how is this different from the Agri Expo, for example, that we had recently? Because I know that you said it's, it, it is for both, right? It's for crop and livestock. And so mm -hmm. how is that different? I mean, what is encouraging me to come down tomorrow? Okay. So there's a lot of encouragement. There are a lot, there are a lot of um, things. So the Agri Expo would have had its purpose, would have highlighted a number of areas in agriculture, 
straight from the field to the, the end of production, all aspects associated with it. So the World Food Day, in keeping with the team, in terms of no one is left behind, is focusing on those particular areas where persons can come in. Mm -hmm. they can, we also have hosted a plant clinic, which is um, diagnostic. So if persons have a p plants that are maybe insect pests or disease, you can bring in a sample, you sleeve it in a plastic bag to ensure it's contained, and you can walk with it, or you can come with a photo. So it is providing a lot of uh, personalized attention. We'd have our staff, members of the World Food Day Committee is mm -hmm. going to be there, members of the... So we are also partnering with the Extension Training and Information Services Division of the Ministry of Agriculture. So you would have persons on hand where you could have one-to-one -one interaction, obtain a lot of information. We would also have um, present the Ministry of Trade and Industry, mm -hmm. Consumer Affairs, yeah. who will be providing information on various aspects in terms of um, consumers' rights with regards to food. Uh, Mr. Amarub, as chair of the World Food Day National Committee, how important do you think is for people to maintain a healthy lifestyle? Because remember, when you grow your own food, you know mm -hmm. the fertilizers you're putting in, you know exactly how you're growing it. So how important is it for people to eat healthy at this time? It's very important, especially where you're promoting healthy diets. You want to actually grow your food in, in a particular environment. To you, The inputs that you're using are as natural as possible to avoid any kind of toxic pesticides used in these in these crops. So at the fair, at the exhibition, if you do come into these celebrations, you will be exposed to the use of natural pesticides. Mm -hmm. You would actually see composting. So instead of, you know, maybe buying fertilizers, you can do your own composting with your vegetable scraps, etc. or other ways in which you can do composting. So do, that information is going to be made available for you. Nice. And in terms of agricultural practices, for example, will we be seeing any of the modern techniques, let's say, for example, aquaponics? Yes, you will be seeing modern techniques. For example, you'll be seeing for, um, container planting. You're going to be seeing areas where you, for example, if you have limited space for planting, um, suggestions in how you can, can actually grow crops so that you can sustain, you know, to supplement your, your, your table. Nice. And any other information that we may have missed that you want to mention at this time? Well, I just want to say that um, both in Trinidad and Tobago, there are active activities for World Food Day, so we would encourage people persons to, you know, get on board. Um, there's always something to learn. There's, there's a lot of education, there's a lot of awareness, there are a lot of contacts to be made and networking. So I would encourage all persons from and Tobago to participate and to participate fully. Visit on Saturday, uh, October the 15th. Which is tomorrow, right? Tomorrow yes. at Head Office, Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, the Nam Dev to Farmers Market, and participate. You'll be, uh, uh, you know, awakened to a lot of opportunities there, a lot of information. You might walk away with some seedlings as well to go home seedlings, and start. Seedlings, <laughs> seeds, plants. Yes. yes. And just remind us of the time it's starting. Okay, so it's uh, starting at 7.30. The market starts very early. Right. So we start at 7.30 and we go straight until 12 noon. And anybody who wants to get more information, is there a website? they can go to? Yes, you can go on to our Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries website and you can get, uh, obtain a lot of information there. You could also get contact for the divisions that are in, within the Ministry of Agriculture. Nice. Well, Ms. Ramroop, thank you so much for coming in and sharing, you know, what the Ministry is doing as it relates to World Food Day, which is on the Sunday, but I know that you guys are having your activity on the Saturday tomorrow. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, and thank you for having us and to be able to share uh, for the, the World Food Day. So yeah. on behalf of the World Food Day National Committee and the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, I thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Exactly. And that was the chair of the World Food Day National Committee, Ms. Diane Ramroop, just sharing some fun activities they're going to be having in Shagornas tomorrow as we look forward to World Food Day, which will be commemorated on Sunday, October 16th.